Hey what's up here and welcome to Hotel Arena Overview. I don't think we've had pure destruction mayhem game so far unless you can't boxing people to death like. <laughs> this one's definitely family friendly although there could be some questionable actions going on. <laughs> So Hotel Arena is a physics playground simulator game where by selling your soul to the actual devil you're turning not so fruitful rockstar career into completely something else and set a course on becoming infamous by smashing properties. This is very much a sandbox project so not necessarily up my alley although I do appreciate that there's some kind of storyline going on not much but every little bit helps to spice the main gameplay. This title is heavily going into the demolition sector that main purpose is to essentially smash everything around you and rack up as much costs of the damage as possible, completing certain goals and challenges to progress into a bigger buildings. That's pretty much it, so the concept is not necessarily that deep. At your disposal you have a variety of weaponry to use, of course it comes with a price, so by completing more levels you unlock more advanced and dangerous things looping everything all together into some kind of decent gameplay. Personally I don't necessarily like the whole execution because certain sections completely throw you off and then you find yourself in a lobby doing nothing pretty much or finding options or anything for that matter is a pure struggle. As well as graphics aren't very impressive, it keeps it bare bones and simplistic to the point that it can't get any worse. And the main key point being the physics engine is just fine, like nothing crazy that we did not see before. Moreover, there were certain games that definitely made the demolition aspect in a better way and that was not even the main pinpoint to the project. Either way, it's just couple minutes of fun, then it gets very repetitive and boring, leaving you confused what to do next and doing the same levels over and over. Let's go smash it up! What the? <laughs> You throw shit at me as well. <laughs> My god. Walk into the light. I always need to see if I can do a full smooth locomotion. No. Nope. I had you there, didn't I? It's just a pretty sweet echo effect on my voice. Now, get into the elevator. I have something better for you. <laughs> well, it's like I've told you already. You can't go waving that thing around. We've all heard the gossip. Look, Donnie, just stick to the script and leave the liberal halfwits to me. Listen, you waste of a bloody toupee. Just stay off social media. Okay? Ah, yes, hello. Pleased to meet you. If you didn't guess, I'm the devil. Right, so you're here because you want fame and fortune, but your music sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. Well, you have come to the right place, my friend. 
I've helped the best of them. From Panini to Page, I just love to make a deal with a musician. You're all so debauched. <laughs> it just so happens, I've fallen out with a certain hotelier. So I think that you could help me. So, here's the deal. I'll give you what you want. Minus admin fees, of course. And all you need to do for me is become infamous for smashing up hotel rooms. The more infamy you gain, the bigger the hotels, and more cash you can make. All I need from you is a digital signature on here, and you'll be taken backstage to start your career. Simple. Please, sign here. Even in eternity, it's not possible to read all the T's and C's, so just get on with it. So first of all, let's talk about the graphics. They are pretty basic, I mean... It's not like you have a choice. Even his model... I don't think I've seen an outside like that before, however... It's just bare bones. Now, or I'll run out of things to say and start repeating myself. I assuming it's just gonna be all about the storyline. We have a deal. Now, just looking over the fine print, as stated in clause 221B. I take your soul. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit weird. And what's happening here? Ah, I guess that's my weaponry. What the hell am I on the desert? Yeah, I mean, really, the asset is just basic. But we're here to see what's happening with the physics. I mean, it is a taste. <laughs> what I'll do with this? I guess my goal is to just destroy everything. I can't even form a fist. Oh, wow, I hurt myself. <laughs> okay, so that was not the goal. <laughs> I have no idea where I am, like... There's not necessarily any guidance, which is kind of awkward. Like, I think I've been to the actual stage, but it felt very sandboxy. <laughs> and now I don't know how to come back. <laughs> I think this is the supposed main menu, but like, there are writings and images that don't tell me anything and I think this is the main quest or something it's kind of all over the place the better question is what will do the most damage like I need to get creative Do things have health and stuff? Okay. Maybe I'm just not a distraction person. Oh, there we go. Now that should work. Hey. Oh, no deal with that butterfinger jerk off. 
What the hell? Give me my weapon. Listen up. This is useful onboarding stuff to get you on board, I guess. A member of the staff is on their way to your room. You do not want them to fully open the door or that is game over. Oh, and just a heads up. You can leave any time when the hotel staff aren't around. That makes sense. Grab things from distance, so it's kind of hard to adjust. I think it's just destroyed, but it still. Seems like it can do some damage. I mean, anything else is just pretty minuscule stuff. Not a lot. But I mean, I did something. <laughs> now that I have some cash, I can buy some better weapons and then progress further in the challenges, cause I need to unlock more infamy discs to go further. So it's pretty much a sandbox scenario with doing as much damage as possible but also keeping it PC in some guidelines. <laughs> I mean I can buy something and then repeat the stage however the content won't necessarily change but I'll still do that. What do you even have here? <laughs> a chalk strap? Oh wow. I mean, that's just detonating the whole place. That's pretty premium stuff. How much money I had? Wait, how do I get stuff? Hand scanner. <laughs> I 
I guess I'll get a pistol. Does it have runs in it? Wonder what's the gameplay here. I guess it's only set amount of bullets. So I wish I would put some else. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't have nothing on me. It's a little bit confusing. Here are the goals and I essentially need to figure out what I am able to do with the equipment I have. Escape before the mate tries to get in. So as much as possible in a short amount of time without hurting myself. <laughs> So also the position of items is a bit weird. It uh, sounds like you're needed in room 27. Over. Yeah. It advances. <laughs> Well, I should have left before her, but yeah, I get the gist. To me, the game is kinda all over the place, starting with the UI that is funny and all, but very confusing to understand and you're getting thrown into the gutter pretty much. In terms of the physics, it's basic ragdoll ones, so you won't have anything on the same level as Bone Lab happening. And then with the Alsa and graphics, it keeps it very simple. Resolution distance also a bit bad, so it's a below average project that might be fun for a couple minutes. But really, it's not that deep and relies too much on progressing with the challenges. So you can't really take all your anger out. You need to be like careful about what you're doing, which is pretty weird. <laughs> 